What's up, guys? It's uh, Mike from MikeLovesBeer.com here with the first ever video beer review. I've been out of the loop for a couple of weeks battling a cold, but I am better now. And I haven't gotten you a review in a while, so I figured I'm going to do it right here on the internet via video for you. Um, I'm holding a microphone because the webcam on my computer wasn't picking up sound too well from where I'm sitting and... That's how we do this around here. Um, today we're drinking Ballast Point's Big Eye IPA. It's the smaller of their two IPAs, uh, Sculpin being the bigger one, of course. Um, and look out for a review on that soon. Um, not video-wise, but uh, uh, just uh, one of the regular ones. So we're going to be cracking this open today and talking about it. And... Uh, I'm going to put the microphone down so that I can actually open it and pour it. Uh, I poured it into a pint glass here, just a regular standard pint glass because I always find them just fine for IPAs. It's very clear. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You c yeah, you can see me right through the, the glass. It's a nice straw yellow or golden yellow color. Um, some bubbling going up to the nice white head. And uh, it looks like it leaves some good lacing uh, around it. So let's see what it smells like. Nice hop aroma. It's not in your face. It's a little citrusy. Um, a very small amount of malt in the backing um, that I can pick up. Um, so let's dive on in. It's a pretty solid IPA. Um, citrus hops, some earthy um, type hop character. The hops are not super bitter, um, but they do leave a little bit of bitterness there. Um, it's a quite drinkable IPA. Uh, let's see, does this say what the ABV is on it? Showing that I prepare for videos that I'm doing but I kind of did because I have it up here it's a uh, seven percent so uh, that's a pretty pretty big uh, regular IPA um, sort of in the same boundaries as High Life from Cigar City um, but Ballast Point makes some solid stuff that I've had before um, I think that their labels are kind of silly with the fish because I'm not a fisherman at all. Um, but I've seen a couple cool ones. Um, Victory at Sea is a very cool one. Um, sea Monster is pretty cool. Um, but some of the ones that are in the 12-ounce bottles, they're just, meh. But you know what? The brewery's not, meh. They're actually, yay! Um, <coughs> so... Ballast Point's not available down in South Florida, but they are in Central Florida. That's where I got this um, because uh, the Treasure Coast is considered Central Florida, and they get stuff distributed there that we don't. And I got this at the Total Wine in Stewart slash Jensen Beach, whichever you want to call it. Um, and they had a pretty good selection of other uh, Ballast Point stuff because I got Sculpin there. And like I said, you'll see a review on that probably sometime in the next week. Uh, and they had uh, Calico. They had Wahoo. Um, I think they had uh, Black Marlin. Uh, but um, Ballast Point's an awesome brewery out of uh, San Diego. And uh, I want to drink more of uh, Big Eye. Yeah, it's a it's a really good IPA. Um, I would probably give it a B plus on the Mike Loves Beer rating scale, of course. Um, I only have one, so 
I'm going to savor this. And uh, it's Saturday. I worked today. Uh, I got to work again tomorrow, so I'm not going to be out all night. So I'll probably have this and uh, another beer and going to play some Halo, Halo Reach. So um, thanks for checking out the first ever MikeLovesBeer.com beer review here of Ballast Point. Big Eye IPA. And uh, have a great rest of your day, folks. Cheers.